so hello guys welcome to the video so in this video we will solve the question faulty keyboard in java so uh, firstly i will explain you about the question and then we will try to solve it so let me take you to the open board and then we will see what's the input of the question so the input of the question is your friend is typing his name into a faulty keyboard all right so sometimes when typing a character c the key might get long pressed and the character will type one or more times all right so my friend is writing his name and if it types sometimes it type c so the output is c c or something else all right it, the keys are uh, keys get long pressed all right it might get long pressed all right so uh, not every time if it write a then uh, I, then uh, it might get a only or it might get a a also all right so this is the question so now what we have to do we just have to examine that the typed characters of the keyboard return true if it is possible that it was your friend's name all right so for example let me if my friend was writing pep so if my if my friend's intention was to write pep but by mistake his faulty keyboard makes him to write peep all right so i have to examine this this faulty word with my original word and then i have to return true if his intention was to write this word only all right so i hope now you understood this question so how we will pursue it so firstly i will create a name and typed so these two are strings which will be given us in the question only so now i will take a example from sample input only and write manu and typed is double m double a double n and u all right so how we will see that these two m combines and create a one m these two a combines and create one a these two n combines and create two one two two n's and these this z this u is combined to create one u all right so this is now how, how we will approach it we have to code it accordingly so we will take another example and then we will see it let me uh, change the pen let let us write sumit here so this is the correct word but my faulty keyboard wrote double s double u m double e t so now what will i do if in this case if i place two pointers here one at the zeroth position of name and one at the zeroth position of typed all right if my two pointers are placed here then i will check that if my i is equal to z j or j or not if my i is equals to j then what will i do if my i is equals to my j then i will increment my i all i and i will increment my j because it is equal that means it is similar that means my faulty keyboard didn't work that means my word is correct till now all right so i will increment my i also and i will increment my j also so this is my first condition so what will be uh, the scenario for this so s is uh, uh, equal to s so i will increment my i and i will increment my j further now my i and j are not similar my i and j are not similar so what's the condition for not similar words if my words are not similar so i will check that if i minus 1 if the character at i minus 1 is that character equal to my j and if that character is equal to my j so i will increment my j i will explain you what i am writing here so what will i check that if the value which was beyond which was before my i which is i minus 1 the value which was at i minus 1 is equal if it is equal to my j that means that will conclude that it intended to write this s only but my faulty keyboard has written this s as extra all right so this s will be extra so i don't need this s i will increment my j all right so this is the meaning why we are checking for this condition all right i hope you understood this now so i will check it from i minus one and i minus 1 will be equal to j 
so i will delete this i minus 1 i will increment my j because i will not inc increment my i because my i is at the unique position i is the original word that's why my i is at the unique position and i will be shifting j right so now what if my i and j are equal so what i have to do i have to shift my i further and shift my j further if again i will see that my i and j are equal or not my i and j are not equal so i will check it with my i minus 1 so yes my i minus 1 is equal to my j all right if my i minus 1 is equal to my j then i will shift my j further i will place it somewhere All right. Yeah. Let me also try to take this here. All right. So now my i and j are equal. So what will I do? I will increment my i and j both. Now my i is at e. My j is at also at e. So i and j are similar. So I will increment my i and I will increment my j. Again my i and j are similar. So I will increment my i and increment my J. All right. Now, sorry, uh, I didn't incremented it. Yeah. So here was my J. So now my I and J are equal. So I will increment this and my string is ended now. All right. So first let's make uh, the program for these two condition and then we will try to attend more test cases and then we will enhance our program. So let's go to the code at Nados. And we have to write this possible is possible function. So what we will do? Firstly, we will create two pointers at i and j, and both will be initialized from zero only. Then I will check that inside my while loop, I will run this condition till my i is smaller than name dot length and j should be smaller than egg dot length and if this both condition is true then i will get inside and i will check that at my name inside my name string ith position and inside my typed string at jth position sorry jth position if at these at these both positions the alphabet are same all right the alphabets or characters are same so i will increment my i and i will increment my j2 and if this condition does not exist then i have to check one more thing that if what i have told you i have to check with i minus 1 that if so i will just copy this only and paste this here and just we have to change that i to i minus 1 if my j is equals to i minus 1 that means it was a mistake of faulty keyboard so i will increment my j and if this both conditions does not exist that means we have to return false only all right so we have written this part uh, till this part of our question now i will take some another test cases and then we will try to solve for that so let's say if i have a test case a a b c inside my name i have a a b c and inside my typed i have a a b c a all right so now what will what will i do inside this i uh, if i see this my typed has one more character than my name that means obviously it is uh, not returning to but we have to solve it though so i will keep my pointer i here and j here and increment this both when i and j are equal so i and j are equal again i and j are equal 
again i and j are equal so we will increment this both i'll write j here all right so now if my i and j are equal i will increment this i and i will increment this j but now what's the problem my i string is ended my name string is ended but my typed string is left my typed string is left that means my typed string has some character which is not yet clarified or checked all right so there are two conditions there are two uh, options for this j that this might be a character which is written by faulty keyboard or so i will write this one faulty keyboard so one condition is that that it is the character written by faulty keyboard and second condition is that it is wrongly written all right it is wrongly written that means it is the human error it is personal mistake so what 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 i have to do now i will check first that how will i check that if this uh, uh if this is a mistake of faulty keyboard or not i will just check this j with the value i minus one if it is the mistake of faulty keyboard then my i minus one should be equal to my j all right and if it is not a mistake of faulty keyboard and if it is a mistake of typed type string then this condition will get false and we will check further all right so now we will write this code here after this while i will check that if my j is left so what will i do inside this i will check that if if my name dot caret i minus 1 is equal to typed dot caret j then i will understand that it was a faulty keyboard mistake and i will return true or uh, uh, let's say we will not return true i will check that it is uh, not equal to not equal to that so i will return false here if this condition is if this condition is true i will return false and if this condition is not true i will check further because it is possible that we have some elements further here so i will i have to check for every element all right so i will increment my j by 1 all right now if i gave you another test case in which you have an issue again that this time my a name string is greater and typed string is smaller all right this time my name string is greater and typed string is smaller so this definitely means that this typed string has some uh, no characters has or has less characters than name string so it is not returning true all right or it is not intended to write name so what will i do i have to check check with the same condition i j i will increment this i and j are equal so i will increment this i will increment this again i will increment this again c are equal we will increment this again and this time j is outside my string and i is at that position so what will i do if this condition happens so i have to do nothing if my i is smaller than my name dot length that means my i is left after ending while loop also that means it should returning it should return false and if it is not left it should definitely return true or we can do one more thing by not checking this condition if i knew from before only if i know from before only that my 
name string is greater than my typed string so i will return false from there only so here i will check that if my name dot length is greater than my typed dot length so i will return false from here only all right so i hope you understood this till now so let me run this code and see what output it gives all right so there is some error in uh, cannot find symbol at line 6 right so i guess yeah there is a spelling mistake in length right so i have corrected it now i will again run this code and yes it is successfully compiled now i will submit this code and see how much test cases are passed so four test cases are passed all right so four test cases are passed so all right i will download this test case and output should be false and input should be a and b all right so i will take this and create input for this a and b so for a and b i will keep my i and j and i and j will not work because a i and j uh, are not are not equal so i will check my j with my i minus 1 and here's what the condition is failing that because when we are when we were checking that my j is equal to my i minus 1 and here i minus 1 does not exist that's why it will give runtime error all right so what i have to do whenever i was checking that my j is equal to i minus 1 before that i have to check that my i should also be greater than 0 then only i will check this condition all right so i have written i should be also greater than 0 and and then i will check this condition now i will run this code compile this code again then i will submit it again see if it is that test case is passed or not all right so yeah this was the problem and all test cases are passed now so i hope you understood this video if you understood this video please like the video and share it share it with your friends and do subscribe our channel so we will meet in the next video till then thank you so much